I spent some time walking around my friend's yard and I found this frame right here. This would be perfect for leaning my steel sheets up against. Well, while he's playing with his toys, I'll fill you in with what's going on. My name is Andrew McDonald, and I'm building a steel barge house. I'm going to live in this thing while I go back to college. It'll be about 10 by 30 feet, maybe a little bit longer, with kind of a wood cabin feel on top. I'd really like to show you maybe some cartoonish drawings, or maybe even one of those fancy Adobe Photoshop pictures of what I hope this thing might look like, but I don't know how to do that yet. And also, I've got 60 days to get this thing built. School starts in August. And with that kind of timeline, I'm already pushing it by filming and editing these videos for you guys to follow along. But I feel like it's this is something worth sharing. It's something I wish I had gotten to see. So welcome. I hope you follow along as we go about this journey of trying to get this thing built and challenges it'll face. There will be more than just actual assembling and welding and cutting. Let me show you a little bit of the the logistics that go behind getting something like this done. Hope you enjoy it. I promise to not make the crane section so long, but you gotta admit, it is pretty cool. And now that he's almost got that thing in place, let me show you something. This is the perfect location to build a barge if you don't have a concrete floor and an air-conditioned shop. Check out this meadow we've got. Lots of coverage from the sun by these overhanging trees. Get in here with a bush hog, clean it up. It'll be a beautiful place to get this thing built. But before we get to cutting and welding, I need to drive back towards Tennessee to pick up my car and dad's gonna bring it down on a trailer. This is his trailer and I need to get this trailer unloaded so I can take it back to him. On here we've got 5x10, 3 16 A36 steel plate. And underneath it we got some really good hardwood and some dimensional lumber. It wasn't that close. Oh, that long moment of, dang it, that didn't work. I'm not strong enough to lift it up. My crane is. Just like that, all 15 sheets unloaded, nothing to it. With all the steel unloaded and stacked neatly, that'll be a great place for me to come over here and pick it up with the crane. Now I need to get this wood off of here. I'm gonna go see what I can find in the yard. Found these power line poles. I think these will be excellent dunnage to set the wood on. Now I just gotta figure out a way to get my truck back in here to somehow get them out. As close as I can get without moving a bunch of stuff out of the way. Uh, luckily the crane's got two extensions. I'll go ahead and let the other one out and see if we can't reach it.
worked out nicely to get the wood stacked. Still got a couple hours of daylight left. Let's see if I can get all that lumber moved. I am getting hungry though. All right, got the trailer unloaded. Pretty good wood in the stack. Get this thing back to my dad in the morning. I appreciate him storing that wood for all those years. And still got some daylight to cook dinner. While preparing this meal, I had a lot of time to think and just how thankful I am for everyone's help and trying to get something like this done. A good friend for letting me use his property. Dad for storing that wood all those years. Doug for lending out his generator, welder, plasma cutter, chains. You know, something like this doesn't get done one person alone. It takes a group effort. And I hope you get a chance sometimes to stop and think about everybody that's helped you get as far as you are. And it's really not just about your personal achievement as much as it is that we're in this together. The day sure was a long, hard day, but it was a good day. This meal should be pretty good. Looking forward to eating it.